So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to keep the step in, keep the block pose in, we're going to wrap around it with brick. These are the Tobermore flags. Nice and very, uh, very rough and grippy then. Thank you. No. <laughs> Cut that bit, fix this bit. Happy Saturday morning, Saturday August the 27th and we're back here on the, you may remember this one, this is the first, our first job back from Limited in February, we did the um, conservatory conversion into the kitchen, bricked up the window, there's the flag we broke, we repaired that, but anyway we're back today because we've had a new front door and as um, as on the job we did across the road, the porch, that's how close we are to yesterday's job. Um, it's a stone porch, so it, it steps down out the house into the stone porch. So Neil's put the new front door on and he's raised the floor level up inside the stone porch, so it's level through into the house now. Which means, obviously the door's about 150 higher now, so it makes this this block baby step obsolete. It's too much of a step up now. So what we're going to do, is we're going we're to keep the step in, keep the block pose in, we're going to wrap around it with brick. And put another step in the middle up to the house and we're using these uh, 450 by 450 grey flags these are the Tobermore flags nice and very uh, very rough and grippy then seem to be a lot better than the Wisedales but yeah the, um, I'll, I'll just get them next in I'm going to come round probably to here just make one big step at the bottom so you're going to have a flag one, two, three, four, flag, and then the top step is going to stick out, two flags on top. So he's got like plum pots here. So the plum pots can go up on the steps either side of the door, and then you've got the, it's going to be a nine if you step into the door. So yeah, that's our plan for today.
here we go, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock update. <coughs> That's the step set out now. So, as I said, bottom step is four flags across, two at the back, and then the top step comes up out of that. So you've got like a wraparound step and then one at the top there. Um, very big beds at this end, but obviously the floor's at a level. Now that should make a bit more sense to everybody watching. So there's our flags. So each bo each box is a flag. So one, two, three, four, five, six around the perimeter, and then this is going to be our top next step, rising out the centre. So it's going to be a wraparound step at the bottom with a centre step at the top. Um, these flags are going in, going in and out after we've set the step out, and then um, we'll get this top one built. Oh, oh, it's just jointing up. I think I need the spoon. <laughs> yeah, big beds at the end because the slope on the drive. These things are sent to try. Nothing's ever straightforward, but we just get on with it and get it done. So, yeah, these are, these are the Tobermore flags. I like these. You can hear them quite. They're very grippy, which is quite important for a front door step. The wires there are very similar, but very, very smooth. So, yeah, as you can see, with. Um, We've completely swallowed up the block paving step now. So that's going to disappear completely. So it's going to look nice when it's done. Nice Saturday morning job. Because it's a... Uh, when you're watching this, it's the Saturday of the August Bank Holiday weekend. So we're having Sunday and Monday off, aren't we all? Oh yes. And then um, I'll probably sort some work out for next week, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, we may be doing another wall on this on this road. Mm, that's a little repair job, that. Job, yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, this is the street. We've done so much work on this street. This is the street with the cheeky monkey coffee and the bacon bushes at the top of the road. So um, I've been eating good this week. Yeah. So that's enough waffle. As we keep getting told off for waffling, uh, we'll get you back on time. That's why we get the get set out with a step and get these flags on. Catch you later.
and stage three complete. Now it all makes sense. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flags. Which we're going to put in on imminently. But we've just got to put these brick slips on first and we might have to nip off and get some um, tile adhesive so they stay up there. I'm sure this grab stuff in the tube won't do any good so I don't think I'm running it to tool station in a minute and go and get some for that. So I'll leave Alex here to brush up and tidy up, get get things get everything ready. So yeah, we'll go for the tower dish so it stays where we put it. It's catching a bit. Right, I'm back. Just been to tool station. Got uh, what's it called? Pink pink pink, 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 pink grip. Pink grip. Warning, not for amateurs. Oh no, I can't use that. I've had it. I guess it's up to me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, if uh, is the split is the slips. They're weird because they're just. I don't know where they come from, but there's no face on them. Right, um, customer said he just kept hold of them. Right. Yeah, look, there's the back, there's the front of the back, so... We're going to use these anyway. And we're going to use the pink grip to put it on. Just to cover up the air. Uh... Yeah, to cover the wood up. And then we're going to um, just um, leave perps, perps out and point the perps with mortar. So I'm going to do that now. Never done it before, but in for a penny, in for a pound. First one we've got to cut in half to keep it bonding over the top of these plinths. As you can see, there's the original plinth brick. They're staying in. The idea it would have been better changing all this brickwork before the door got fitted, but we were not worn on then, so, so we might do. So I'm going to get that done now while all the tidies up, and then it's just a matter of throwing the flags on. Let's get to it.
How do you feel? Good. I'll tell you what, you should be proud of that, it looks lovely. And there you have it, we have a very decorative set of steps. So you get your two main ones and then you wrap around. Wrap around, yeah. And so all that's left to do now is just like a bit of a uh, clean up, but you don't need to see that. And, oh yeah, and these slots have been put in with pink grip, was it? Yes. With pink grip, and we've just repointed the uh, the cross joints. So there you go, another set of steps done. But that'll do us for today, so thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave us a like. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap the bell icon so you're always notified. It's always a massive help, all the support we get from the channel, and we greatly appreciate it. This has been, well, it's more than Steve today. Brickling with Steve and uh, moral support with Alex. Some very fancy steps, and we'll see you in the next video.